You're watching 40 Entrepreneur Drive. Hello, I am Kenya. Welcome to the review. As you can see in the background, this will be a restaurant review on a restaurant called Burger Fi. Natural burgers, fries, dogs, custard, craft beers, and wine. I am here in uh, Arlington, Texas. If you can see in the background, I am very close by the whoop, in the Cowboys Stadium. So this is somewhat near the downtown Arlington area. Cowboys Stadium is like maybe two miles away, right down the way on Collins. And Hmm. All right, so I'm inside. I'm going to choose something from the menu I showed a moment ago. We got some kiosks here. I don't like kiosks. I don't like people, but I prefer people over robots because I know robots don't get a paycheck. People do. So I'm going to head on over here. I'm going to head over there and order my food from a human being so that a human being can get paid for their services. And I'm going to skip the kiosk. But they do have kiosks available and they do have apps that you can use to order your food. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with the basic burger here. It looks like there's a burger fried cheeseburger and a burger fried hamburger. Uh, I wish it wasn't a double. I do like hamburgers, but I'm not that big on meat. So uh, I'm gonna ask if there's a single available. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the regular burger fried burger with the lettuce and the tomatoes and all that. Um, it doesn't look like it comes with fries, but I'll show you in a second. And I think I'm gonna actually order, they do have the freestyle here. I got the freestyle machine so you can mix it up, but I'm actually probably going to try one of these shakes. So let's check it out. Alright, is it possible to get a small water or a cup yes, of yeah. water? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Thanks, Alright, thank you. I like getting water whenever I get some type of ice cream or shake just to clear my palate. Alright, check this out real quick. thing that I look for whenever I'm in a restaurant is always plugs because I'm either charging my phone or recording at the moment and this is almost like the day at La Madeleine they're hard to see but they are here they're kind of they kind of blend into the wall but they are available I didn't see any over by the front area or over there but there's one here there's one over by the window and I'm actually gonna sit over here somewhat secluded so I can do my review but uh I almost forgot to ask. I think there is Wi-Fi here. I'm gonna ask. Seems strange that it would not be Wi-Fi available at a place called Simplify. And I think Simplify is a play on Burgerfy. Burgerfy. I meant Burgerfy. I think that's a play on the word Simplify, which is a military term. But it makes me think that they would have Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna run to the front real quick and double check to see if they indeed do have Wi-Fi available.
All right. This is a secondary entrance. This is a secondary entrance from where I came from on the front side there. This is just another way to get in. That's another side of Collins. This is what it looks like from the street. Here's the outside patio eating area. And that's what the building looks like from the street. Ah, yum, 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 yum. Final thoughts on Burger Fi. Okay, let's start from <clears throat> the price. The price pretty much matches what I thought it would. This particular part of Arlington is getting built up because of the stadiums and sports arenas that are coming up. So this is going to be, this is the entertainment district. And so there are going to be some higher end restaurant and dining areas in this area. My total meal was about $13 and some change. I don't know what I did with my receipt, but it was $13 and some change. The burger alone was $6, $6 or $7. The fries are separate. The drink is separate. Everything is pretty much a la carte style, style here. The burger was delicious. I went to the front to ask because I kind of had a feeling. When I ate the burger, there was a certain feel to it, not just a certain taste, but there was a certain feel to the burger. And he did confirm, the man behind the counter confirmed to me that the burgers are cooked medium well done. Unless you ask for it specifically, it is cooked medium well done. And that makes a difference in the texture usually. And also, that only comes with fresh burgers. So if you go to most fast food chains, they are frozen, they are uh, thrown on the griddle or on the uh, the grill and they're cooked but when you have a fresh uh, source of meat fresh ground meat they can cook it uh, rare medium rare uh, well done and that was a medium well burger it was it wasn't completely soft but it had a soft bite to it and it was not unpleasant at all it was very delicious I don't think they put too much seasoning on the burgers I probably could add it to it but it was fine the way it was I did get a single not a double because I don't like all that meat on my burgers and let's see the lettuce was green Bib lettuce, I think it was not like iceberg. So it was green uh, green lettuce, green leaf lettuce. Uh, I don't know what type of tomato it was, but it was a fresh tasting tomato. The cheese tasted pretty good too. The fries, I believe, was probably one full potato, one whole fresh potato, hand cut, still had the skin on it. I had a few pieces of potato skins in my teeth as I was eating, but it wasn't anything that bothered me, but it wasn't a processed fry where they kind of mash it up and you know squeeze it out into fry shapes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. But these were whole hand cut fresh potato fries. I think they were lightly seasoned, but I put my own pepper on it. They, this place serves custard, uh, shakes, as well as kind of like a, what do they call it? Concrete, some type of parfait style, style dessert made with custard. So it was a very thick shake. And I showed it in one of the pictures. I can't, can't show it now. This isn't it. This isn't, I think I threw it away already. But the person that served me put a regular plastic straw in my shake and it was a little difficult drinking it because it was so thick then i remembered that i had my own straw i had grabbed an extra straw when i opened up that straw it was a completely different straw it was a paper straw with a wider hole and i think they have uh the plastic straws are for regular drinks liquid drinks and i think those paper straws are specifically for custard or maybe they're trying to go green i'm not sure but I was just going to double up my straw. This is all I was going to do. I'm like, I can't drink. It's just too thick. But that paper straw was just wide enough to be able to drink the shake comfortably. And I'm pretty sure it's biodegradable. So that was pretty cool, too. The shake itself was made with fresh strawberries, um, blended up. At the very, very bottom, I started getting a little bit of clogging in the straw because of the strawberry pieces. But yeah, in the whipped cream topping, I, it almost looked like a heavy whipped topping, which you usually get at custard places like this. But it was not. It was the air... Aerosol. I can tell it was the aerosol type. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't a heavy cream. But the custard made up for it. So that was filling. <clears throat> I got my complimentary water on the side. It was super ice cold. That it, it was came out of a freestyle machine. If you don't know what a freestyle machine is, they have your base flavors on there, your colas and your uh, uh, lime, uh, you know, sprite type of stuff. And but they also have things like ginger ale, and you can mix and match and add the different flavors. But when I just got the, I just got water. I just wanted the water. It came out super ice cold, man. It was the most delicious and clean tasting water I've ever had from the tap. I'm pretty sure it's tap water. It may be purified. I don't know. So that's it. That's that was my experience. I got my water. I got my shake. I got my two types of straws. I got my burger with the toasted bun with the little. Uh, branding of the restaurant name on the bun as you can see there and it was served on a metal tray 
which added to the industrial feel to it with a little paper liner. They had an outside patio eating area, which seems to be pet friendly. There was uh, some young people out there with their dog. There was no outlets on the outside, but there are a few outlets on the inside. If you do need to plug up your device, they're just a little bit hidden and you can't really see them because of the design of the wall. <sighs> a very good meal, very good meal, very good experience. This is not something I would do on a regular because it is so expensive. And they do have a, a way to order online at burgerfy.com. You can download the app from the App Store or from Google Play. They, it looks like they have a, a hashtag, TryBurgerFi. You can follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And yeah, Fi on the fly, app plus online ordering. Check it out if you're in the Arlington area near the Cowboy Stadium, or if there's one near you, let me know what experience you've had at your local Burger Fi. This has been Kenya. Leave a thumbs up for the video and check out my other restaurant reviews. Sharing this video will allow you to discuss the topic with others. Subscribing will bring more videos your way. Smashing that like button will make you feel good inside. Trust me.